Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. You're joining me here on the, uh, the second video with my Audi RS4, the collection video, which um, if you haven't seen it already, it's on the channel. P picked this car up a few days ago and uh, didn't get a chance to do a proper walk around really. So today's video is gonna be a, an in-depth walk around and um, just showing you more about this car and telling you sort of the condition of it and the, the spec. So let's have a look around it. So what we've got here is my new Audi RS4 Avant. This is the B7 model. This is a 2007 car. Uh, and it's in Daytona gray, which I think is a color that really suits it. it wasn't my first choice. My first choice of color would have been sprint blue, but they, um, they hold quite a premium and there's not that many of about in, uh, in good condition. So I, uh, I couldn't be too, too picky with the color. And I think Daytona gray is equally as good, really. Um, one thing that I think is really important with these cars is a, is a color that shows off its curves because it is quite a curvy car. It's got some really nice flared wheel arches, front and back. Um, it's got a wider track actually than a normal A4 of this, fin of this era. Um, so the wheels really push out into those wheel arches. Quite a lot of these cars come in um, what they call phantom black, which is another pearlescent color. And I, I think they probably look pretty good in person, but in the pictures you can't really see the uh, the lines too well, it, it sort of hides the shape, which I think is a bit of a shame because this car, its proportions and shape just look great. Really do give it a mean look. So yeah, that's the, um, that's the color. The actual bodywork condition is in excellent condition. It's uh, hardly got any chips on it anywhere. And I've had a, look, a good look around it. There are a couple of little little marks, but nothing nothing major. And it's actually um, had a ceramic coat on it applied to the whole of the car and the wheels. So it made cleaning it quite easy, actually, even though it's, it's got quite a lot of water on it now. It's from rain last night, but it's um, yeah, it cleaned up nicely. So what else are we looking at on the outside here? So this car's got um, a couple of external modifications, which you can probably notice. The front splitter isn't standard. That's um, that's an addition, and I think it does actually suit the car quite well. It's not, not too over the top. It doesn't lower the front down too much, having any problems over speed bumps, which is good. And uh, I'll show you the diffuser in a minute on the back, which matches that. 19 inch wheels, these are the, the stand, I think they're actually, they did, they did come with an 18 inch wheel in America, but these are the standard, pretty much every single RS4 here has got these wheels in the UK. Um, and behind there, you've got some absolutely monster brakes, the eight piston, 365mm floating discs, absolute beast. And they, they actually shared those brakes with the Lamborghini Gallardo and Audi R8. I think also the C5 RS6, so those calipers get about, but they are beasts. And because of that, they also um, have quite a hefty price tag on the replacement pieces. So brake discs are pretty expensive um, and brake pads too. And that's one of the things you've got to look out for with these. These have got um, Raylan Motorsport, discs on here, these aren't the standard discs, and they are in pretty good condition. Um, as soon as I picked this car up, I, I put the car into AMD Technic down in Woking for them to have a good check over, and there was a couple of things to address, one of which was there's some, uh, there is some vibration in the, in the steering and through the brake pedal when you brake, so that could be a number of things, one of which could be uh, pad deposits on the brakes, on the brake discs, or warp discs. Um, and they checked over the discs and luckily they, they couldn't find any warping in this. Um, it did need some new pads as the pads were pretty pretty poor and it also needed a brake fluid change. So I've done that. Uh, there, the vibration is still there and I think that's probably down to the, um, the fact that the bushings and the front suspension arms are worn. So that is a ne that's the next job on the list of things to do. And that should then uh, cure the, the vibration. So that's one thing to be aware of on these is, is if you're looking at a car, make sure that the brakes are in good condition or budget for that because they're not cheap. So another area of, uh, of concern for RS4 owners is the, uh, the suspension on these things. The standard factory suspension, the dynamic ride control, DRC, is really problematic. Um, it is extremely good at what it does, but the shocks aren't that good. Um, so what a lot of owners do is change them to coilovers once the, the shocks start to go bad. This car is actually on the original system still, still on the DRC, so I'm sure at some point I will have uh, the same trouble as everyone else. But in 2019, it had a DRC refresh from Audi, about two grand was spent on the system, so it should be good for a while. Hopefully, touch wood. Back view. 
I think it does really uh, have quite a presence from the back as well. And that, that rear diffuser, the addition of that, looks, it does suit it quite well. And you've got those iconic twin tailpipes, absolutely monstrous tailpipes, which are real all the way through. They're not just tips, which is good to see. And I'm going to uh, drop in a cold start for you guys now because this thing sounds incredible. It's had the, uh, it's a standard exhaust, but it's had the resonators removed and it's, um, yeah, it's, it's pretty good. So have a listen to this. Right, let's have a look at what is powering this beast because this is uh, a good looking engine bay, I will say that. There it is, that is quite a lump. 4.2 litre V8, naturally aspirated, 414 horsepower, 317 pound feet of torque, revs to 8,250, so it's, it has quite a rev range and it really does sing. And it looks, looks epic in there, doesn't it? So one of the common problems of this engine is that they suffer from um, carbon buildup being direct injection. This one's had a carbon clean about 5,000 miles ago, so it should be good for uh, for a while now, making good power. Um, carbon buildup can reduce the power by as much as 50 or 60 horsepower. Good to see that it's been done recently. And this one's actually also had the intake manifold flaps removed. This is, uh, and Audi's notorious for this, but if you have a look at this car, look, look where the front axle is, right there. And you look at the engine, the entire engine is pretty much hanging over the front. So that would normally make a car handle terribly but somehow they've managed to avoid that with this car, which is uh, really quite quite good. It's not just a straight line performance thing. If you're wondering about the plate, it's not mine, so the car will be going back to its original registration uh, at some point soon once I've got the forms through. Uh, if you like that plate though, it is going to be up for sale. The previous owner is going to be uh, going to be selling it, so drop us a message and I'll put you in contact with them. On the inside of this car, we've got the all important wing back seats with the RS4 emblem embossed in there black leather all the way through, which is in really nice condition, which is good to see. Some of these cars, uh, the leather's looking pretty ropey, but this one's got good condition leather throughout, which is nice. It's got the uh, all important flat bottom steering wheel too, which I think really adds to the interior. This is uh, the same steering wheel that you got in a Lamborghini Gallardo as well, a similar vintage, which is pretty cool. Obviously without the Audi rings on it though. And then, this one has also got the carbon fibre inlays throughout, which is uh, a nice touch. And they, uh, yeah, they just sort of set the whole thing off, really. Really nice interior. Obviously, it's like, it looks probably a little bit dated compared to newer modern Audis, but it is solid. And in the back, this one's got privacy glass, which is quite cool, as to the look. And in the back, you've got some nice sort of semi-buckets as well so the rear passengers can have a bit of support when you go around the corners, because this one thing this car's got is a lot of grip. So that's a bit of a look around on your RS4. It's a, it's a good car, I think. As I said, I took it to AMD Technic pretty quick after I picked it up to get a few bits sorted. Uh, like the, the rear CV boot had a tear in it, so that was replaced. Um, and I say the, the brake stuff. Um, and when it was there, they had a, had a good look over it. And um, yeah, basically said it's a good car, which is, which is encouraging to hear. There are a few bits that need sourcing. Um, and I've got that, as I, I've got it on the horizon now, I know what needs doing, so uh, they'll, they'll be fixed in the new year. And um, once that's done, I'm looking forward to, to really getting stuck into driving this thing. It's gonna be, a, gonna be a great car to the channel, I think. So next up with this this car will be a first drives video. We've had a good look around it now, um, and you've seen, seen what it's all about. Next thing to do will be uh, to get a first impression of what it's like behind the wheel, because it is, uh, it is quite a beast. So join me for that one soon.